Hello, in this video I'm going to solve an example uh, to show how one can use probability tree uh, to uh, solve probability uh, problems. Uh, let's see what is the question. A box contains two red marbles and three green marbles. Uh, a marble is selected at random from the box and is replaced uh, by six marbles of the other color. So so it means that if I take out green, then I put that green aside and put in six red one in the uh, the marble in the in the box. Uh, then another marble. After doing this change, another marble is selected as random from the box. Um, then the question says, oh, asks if both of the marbles selected are of the same color, what is the probability that they are both red? So uh, first let me write down the part that uh, the question asks us to find. So we are looking for probability that <coughs> uh, uh, both are red, so we are red, red, knowing that uh, knowing that it's given that if both of the marbles are the same color, both are the same color. Either are uh, red, red, or green, green. Uh, first thing to see here is that we have to use um, uh, we have to use the uh, conditional probability formula. Uh, in this case, I have to find first probability of both of them are uh, red intersection with uh, both same color. And then divide it by the part which is given. So both of uh, both same color. Uh, before we go ahead and do solve this problem, you have to notice something here. Uh, intersection of both red and both uh, of same color. Both of the same color has two pieces. One piece is the one that we have two reds and another piece is one when we have two green marbles. So uh, intersection of both red with the, the event that both of the marbles are of the same color would be the intersection would be both red. So both same color are either both green or both red, So, but we are interested in the one which are both green. And then divided by uh, same colors. Okay, so now we have to find those ones and put in the, the, into the formula. But what are the information given here? So I have a process, stochastic process with two uh, experiments. First, I, I uh, take out a marble from the box, so it's either red or green, but originally there are only two reds out of five total things. So I have the chance of two over five getting a red and the chance that I get green is three over five. Now if I have red in the first draw then I replace it by six green. So it means that here uh, green. So we had only two reds. I take one out. It's red. I, I observe that's red. And by the rule, I replace that one red by six green, green marbles. Means that I already have three green marbles. Now I add six, so I get nine green marbles but one red. 
because I take off one of two and I replace it by six. So I get nine out of 10 total marbles in the second stage. For red, we have only one of the 10 remaining is uh, red. On the other hand, if I get, if I get uh, green in the first draw, meaning that, means that while well, I got one of these three, so the, I will replace that green by six red. I already had two reds. I added six green there, uh, six red to that, so I get eight reds and there are only two greens because I took out one of them in the stage one so eight of them is green uh, is red out of the total ten and uh, if the first one is green then the second one green the chance that I get green is only two of the ten remaining in the box is going to be uh, green well, we, we did complete the, the, the tree, but how I can use this to find these ones? Let's start with the probability of that both of them are red. Both of them red means that you find the path which includes both R. Here I have this one, and the probability of that path is 1 over 10 times 2 over 5. This is the rule for the probability tree. If you're looking for probability of some event, find all the paths which includes all those events, multiply all the way down to the uh, root, all the numbers on the path, and then add them. In this case, I have only one red red, so I multiply everything along the way from red red 1 over 10 times to the other one 2 over 5. That's the number. How about both have the same uh, color? Both have the same color, has two paths. One is both are red, the other one is both are green. For this part, so I get both green would be uh, 2 over 10 times 3 over 5. So let me erase this part and then write down what I have found so far. Um, so what I found is that the probability that both of them are red is 1 over 10 times 2 over 5. 1 over 10 times 2 over 5. How about probability of both of them same color? Well, there is two possibilities. Either both of them are red, means that I have 1 over 10 times 2 over 5, or I have another path which includes same colors, green, green, which will, the probability of that path is 3 over 5, multiply everything along the path from the end point to the root, uh, 2 over 10. Well, this number here is 2 over 50, and this number is 2 over 50 plus 6 over 50, which is 8 over 50. And the conditional probability that I was looking for, probability of RR knowing same colors, is divide this by that. So, 2 over 50 over 8 over 50. So I can cancel the numerate, denominator of the numerator and denominator, and I get 2 over 8. I can simplify it a little bit more, and I can get 1 over 4. The probability that um, both marbles are red given that both of the marbles were of the same color is 1 over 4. Very quick wrap up, when you form the uh, 
the probability tree, you have to know the rules to drive the probabilities from that probability tree. One is the probability of intersection of events is that you find all the paths, which include both of them, and you multiply numbers along the way from the terminal point to the root and then add all numbers you get for each path. Uh, when you use those rules, uh, you can find all the probabilities for your system. In this case, we were looking for con a conditional probability and using a formula for conditional probability, we had the, uh, the chance that turn this question to finding to two probabilities, both of them are R and both of them are of the same color, and then we use the rules for the probability tree and find both of those probabilities and divide it, and we got the number.